Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create the NumPy array using the existing data. Totally, we are going to learn 5 important methods such as array, then using copy method, then using from buffer method and then using from iter which is nothing but iteration and finally from string method using these five important methods we can able to convert the input into the numpy arrays based on your requirement let's see the code implementation the first method is numpy dot as array it convert the input to an array especially for converting the python sequence python sequence is nothing but tuple list of tuple like that let's see with an example as usual first step import numpy as np then we have an input list equal to if you want to know what is list tuple just glance the python basics which i have already taught so we have a list contains five values one two three four five now we are going to convert this list into the numpy array how np dot as array then within this you have to pass an argument the argument is the list now execute this particular list is converted to numpy array just by using as array method one more example now we are going to convert tuple to the numpy array tuple we are going to create a tuple contains five value same like above example now we are going to convert np dot as array then pass the variable which contains the tuple just execute now the tuple is converted to the numpy array in this example just five values but when you consider the real time scenario we will be having almost thousands of values at that time this method will be very useful and one more example here we are going to convert list of tuple x equal to this is the list of tuples with this bracket this is called as tuples and uh, which is inside the square bracket that's why called list of tuples now we will convert this as an numpy array as array pass the variable x just run it this particular value is converted to numpy array it's like 2 into 3 matrix one more example here we are going to implement the data type same example x is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 here np dot as array inside this we have to pass the x variable then d type equal to float we will execute the numpy array is created but the values are float that is decimal points this is how we have to create the numpy array using as array method the next method is using the copy method from the name itself you would have guessed first we will create an array a then we will copy that a to b a equal to np dot as array the variable a contains the numpy array having five values now we will copy to the b variable for that i am declaring the variable b equal to np dot copy we have to pass the variable a now let's print and see the difference original array is a copy of an array is b just execute now a copy of array is created using an another variable where it will be very useful for example we have to do some manipulation to particular array without modifying its real data then we will take a copy and do the modification or try all the manipulation 
at that time this copy of an array will be very useful and third method is by using from buffer method this interpret a buffer as a one dimensional array for this particular method the input should be given like this variable s equal to b it means it's a buffer for example it is having hello as an input now np dot from buffer then the input comma data type equal to s1 just print so using from buffer method the numpy array is created like this then fourth method by using from iter it is very important method let's see an example a variable iterable which contains a range of 10 you know list from 0 to 9 that's why range 10 np dot from iter here you have to pass the variable then you can mention the data type also i want everything as an integer just executed this is also another way we can able to create the numpy array using the iteration because it is doing the iteration one by one and is parallelly creating the numpy array for each value one more example here we are going to create an array for square of mentioned range you know square 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 for the iterable equal to I am directly giving the condition here x x for x in range 10 so what is this x into x x square 2 into 2 4 3 into 3 9 4 into 4 16 for that it will do the for loop from value 0 till value 9 if you want to learn about this for loops we have already covered it in the basics just glance those video now we'll print and see np dot from iter we have to pass the variable comma this time we will make it as a float just execute the numpy array is created using the for loop to find the square of each number 0 square 0 1 square 1 9 square 81 this is how with the help of from iter we can able to create the numpy array and a final method there are some situations like we will be getting input as a string in order to convert a string to the numpy array from string method will be very useful let's see with an example so any string value equal to uh, let me give it like this see since it is within the code it's a string so we have created a string now we will try to convert this to a numpy array np dot from string we have to pass the variable then let me include the d type as int in addition to that it is separated with the space right so i have to mention that sub e sep equal to space just run it this particular string value is converted to the numpy array so we are passing the variable and mentioning the data type and a limiter how to separate separate using space one more example str val equal to for example something like a credit card number when you get an input like this i want to save it to a numpy array then this is a perfect method for that from string we have to first pass the variable which contains the input then d type equal to int then sep you have to mention the delimiter it is space here the space is included executed so the value is converted to the numpy array string to the numpy array this is how we can create the numpy array using the existing data regarding materials you can refer this particular url
that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning